Welcome to the mat. I love this routine and I know that you are going to love it equally as much. We are going to use some equipment today. So you need your ankle weights. You also need your Pilates ball for the ball. Definitely make sure that there is some air let out of it. You don't want it completely full for what we are doing today. We will get to this in just a second. Grab your ankle weights, place them around your wrist. You are going to start in a standing position. Take a deep inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale, push the ground away. Deep inhale, reach it up. Exhale, push the ground away. One more. Inhale. And exhale. You are going to reach it up and over, really lengthening through that side body. Bring those arms all the way up overhead. Feel that torso, stretch it out. Three more here. Three, two, one, and one. Swing those arms across, still tapping out to the side. Starting to get the body nice and loose. Strength and Pilates today. Four, three, two, one and one good nice wide stance toes are angled out you're going to sit down into a sumo squat arms are by your side tuck your pelvis under keep your torso nice and tall reach it side to side great job stay low four three two and one hold it here bring those arms up and down up and down two more beautiful and rest all right we're going right down into a seated position i want you to grab that ball make sure there is some air let out of it you are going to place your heels on top of the ball I want you to sit up nice and tall, extend those arms overhead. As you exhale, you're going to bring your arms down, extend your feet out. When you inhale, you're lifting back up. Exhale, inhale, reach. Exhale, inhale, reach. Focus on your core, doing the work, and keep those arms nice and strong. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Hold it here. Bring those arms down. See curvature of your spine. Round it back. We're going to pulse it out. Heels are ever so light on that ball. Really pulsing. Keeping that core nice and strong. Pull that belly button in. Rounding of the spine. Strong arms. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach it up. Take your feet next to the side of the ball so that your ankles are holding onto the ball. Reach it up one more time. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way down. Arms are going up overhead. We're going to do a full sit up. Take a deep inhale, exhale, lift one vertebrae at a time, squeeze that ball with the ankles, reach it all the way up and down. Overhead, deep inhale, really using that core, slow and controlled. Three more. Great job. 
Last one. Beautiful. Bring those arms down by your side. Scoot yourself down if you need to. You're going to bring those legs up 90 degrees. That ball is still in between those ankles. Make sure you are keeping your knees over your trunk hand or not over your belly button. So push them away from the body. Fingertips are going behind your head. You're going to crunch it up. You're going to extend those arms out by your side and then pull them back behind your ears. Crunch, hold, back down. Exhale, inhale down. Three more. Great job. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Hands stay behind your head. Head stays down on the ground. We're squeezing that ball between your ankles. You are dropping those toes down to tap the mat and then pulling back up. Keep your low back secured to the ground as much as you can. Tap it down. Pull it up, seven more. Three more. Great job. Two. And one, beautiful job. Slowly grab that ball, set your feet down. It is going to go under your left heel first. The ball of your foot should be on the ground. You are going into a basic bridge. So that left hamstring is going to burn. Really focus on squeezing your glutes. Hips are going up and down. Really press that heel into the ball. You want to feel that hamstring burning. Six, five, four, three, two, keep those hips up, little pulses, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Switch that ball over to the opposite side. Same thing with that bridge, your toes are on the ground, up and down. Three more, you've got this. Three, two, hold it up. I know it burns, pulse it out. Give me ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Slow all the way down. Take that ball, place it under your hips. Bring those legs up 90 degrees. Roll your shoulder blades off of the ground. Drop your left leg, hug your right leg in, and then switch. Belly button needs to be pulled in nice and strong to stay stable on this ball. Four more, four, three, two, one, and one. Legs are staying in the air, head is going down. You're going to drop both of those legs at once and pull them back up, slow and controlled. Nine more. Four, stay with me, 
three, two, one more. Good, and rest. Slowly bring your feet down, lift your hips up, remove that ball, and turn it on to your side. I want you to place that ball under your rib cage. I'm going to have you bend the bottom leg, extend the top leg straight out. You're creating a little half diamond here. We're going to bring your hand over your head. That bottom leg can, bottom arm can be straight. Top fingertips are behind your ears. You are crunching to the side over that ball and back down. Over the ball, back down. Really use your oblique here. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, extend that arm up, extend that leg, bring your knee in, extend it out, bring your knee in, extend it out, keep it strong, belly in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Slowly lower. Move everything over to the other side under that rib cage. Half bend of that bottom leg. Top arm is out. Bottom arm is out. Top arm is behind your ear. You are crunching up and back down. Really use that oblique. Readjust, pull that belly button in. You have three more. Three, two, stay up. Arm is up, leg is up. Bend in, extend out. Keep that belly button pulled in towards your spine. You got this. Two more. Good job, rest. No, we are not done. Take a second here. We're gonna place that ball under your left knee to start. You are going to be in that tabletop position. Belly button is pulled in nice and strong. Those wrists are directly under your shoulders. Take that right leg back behind you, point that toe. You're gonna curve your spine, pull your knee in and extend back out belly button is strong don't let that core drop towards the ground being on that ball is going to make you a little wobbly using your core muscles a little bit more two more last one beautiful set that leg down untuck that toe we're gonna push off of that knee back leg goes up and then back down push up and back down this is all in the glute push and release you're pushing that knee into the ball three more three two and one great job and take that ball switch it to the other side belly button is nice and strong take that leg back behind you curve tuck it in and extend it out tuck in and out Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Set that leg down. Untuck that toe. You're pushing that knee into the ground. Extend that leg up. Tap it down. Straighten it up.
Three more. Two. And one. Great job. Take a second. Rest it here. We're still going to work the lower body, but we're bringing the upper body back into it. I'm going to have you in a standing position, so take a second here to catch your breath if you need to. All right. Your front heel is going to be on the ball. Your back leg is in railroad tracks, so keep them in line with your hips. You're going to go into a lunge here. You're going to lunge your back knee down towards the ground. Those arms are going to reach up. As you come up, I want you to shift forward and press it backwards. Extend up, knee taps the ground, press it backwards as you hinge forward. Reach it up and press. Up and press. We are really getting into the glutes here while working those shoulders. Four more. Three. Two, we're gonna hold this next one, reach it up, and back, hold it here, pulse those arms. Keep them strong, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good rest. Switch out those feet. Toes are on the ground, heel is on the ball. Staggered stance. You're going to reach it up, lunge, hinge, press it back. Lunge and press. You have four more. Four, three, two. On this next one, hold it back, reach it up. Hold it back, press those arms, hinge, hinge, hinge into that front leg. You have four, three, two, one, and rest. Step it forward. Whoo, how we feeling? Take that ball, place it back under your left foot. You're going into a squat now. We're gonna take those arms, we're gonna reach it forward. Forward, out to the side, forward, out to the side, still sitting it back. You got that six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. We're switching those legs out, but our arms are gonna be a little different this time. So you're still going into a squat with your lower body. Your arms are gonna start out to the side now, okay? You're squatting down. When you come back to center, you're bringing them up overhead. Squat it down, clap it up. Three more, you can do this. Three, two, one more. Beautiful. Take this down to a kneeling position. Set your ball off to the side. Bring those arms up overhead. You're pulling them into your back like you were doing a lat pull down. Really squeeze your elbows towards your back pockets. Big strong pull. Seven more, seven, six, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna end with a little bit more core on your back, ball is off to the side. Extend those legs out, opposite arm, opposite leg, reach forward towards your toe, crunch it up, and down, just one side, up and down. Five more on this leg, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Great job. Switch out that arm and leg. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to burn it out with the ball. I want you to place it on your opposite knee with that hand. Both legs are going to start 90 degrees. You're going to bring your fingertips behind your head. As you extend that leg out, okay, you're going to be down. You're going to crunch it up, reach towards that knee, okay, and then extend it out. Knee and out. Press that ball into your knee. We're ending with a nice core burn. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one, you can do it. Switch that ball and arm out. Extend the leg and twist. Six more, you've got it. Six, five, four. I know you want to quit, don't do it now. Three, two, and one. Extend your arms and legs overhead. Imagine that somebody is stretching you out, pulling you from opposite directions. You may release. Flip it on it to your stomach, coming into that mini cobra or full cobra, whatever feels the best for you. You can twist it side to side to give your core and your back a little bit extra of a stretch. I am so appreciative that you joined me for this workout. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you again tomorrow right here on the mat. Enjoy the rest of your day.